Welcome to the Real Estate Way to Wealth and Freedom podcast with Jacob Ayers, providing actionable content to help you along your journey to financial freedom through real estate investing. As the premier asset class, real estate has helped ordinary people just like you amass fortunes. The benefits of passive income from real estate investing will allow you to live a life you want. And now your host, entrepreneur, real estate investor, and apartment deal syndicator, Jacob Ayers. Hi, and welcome to the Real Estate Way to Wealth and Freedom podcast, episode 223. Hi, I'm your host, Jacob Ayers. Thanks so much for tuning in to yet another, what I hope will be, great episode Welcome back to everyone who's been listening to the show, and welcome to all the new listeners. Well, I'm so glad each and every one of you are listening in to this episode. Well, this week's Friday Fundamental is Mindset Matters. Now, before we jump into this, I just want to say that I don't think I have too many original thoughts on this podcast. Everything that I know and repeat and say are a culmination of of things I've learned from other people, namely a lot of guests on this podcast. Well, that is the same for today's Friday Fundamental, and it comes from my good friend, Keith Weinhold, who is a real estate investor and host of the Get Rich Education podcast. Keith was also a guest on the podcast here back in episode 29, and if you haven't listened to that, I highly recommend checking that episode out. So getting into it, this week's Friday Fundamental is Mindset Matters. As humans, we are constantly looking for ways to improve, grow, expand, learn new things, experience new places, and just overall become better people. Look at how our world has changed in the past just couple hundred years. There are two famous pictures that just show you how fast people, technology, and times can change. These two pictures were taken of Easter Day Parade on Fifth Avenue in New York City. One in 1900 and the other 13 years later in 1913. The 1900 Easter Day Parade shows Fifth Avenue in New York City lined with horse-drawn carriages and one lonely automobile. In 1913, the Easter Day Parade on the same Fifth Avenue looks wildly different, with automobiles lined up and down the street. The comparison of these two photos shows just how much things can change in a short amount of time. Now, much credit is given to Henry Ford for the early innovation of the automobile. If it weren't for Henry Ford's expansionary vision, to make automobiles available to the masses by way of assembly line mass production, fair labor wages, and many more innovative ideas that are still around today, our world may have looked much different than it does. Now, one of the paradigms that I've really taken away from Keith and held on to for several years is he says the scarcity mentality is abundant and the abundance mentality is scarce. An abundance mentality is responsible for most, if not all, of our society's biggest accomplishments. From Henry Ford's Model T to the United States space exploration, and so much more, these great feats were ones of abundance, expansionary, and creative mentalities. The same is true in your own life. Anything you've accomplished is probably due to that same abundance mindset. So here are a few perspectives one can take with an abundance mentality. One, health, wealth, happiness, and success are not zero-sum games. In other words, if you become happier, that doesn't mean that someone else is less happy. If you become more wealthy, that doesn't mean someone else becomes less wealthy. You're not taking away health or wealth or happiness from someone else when you grow in these areas. We can all become more happy, 
healthy, wealthy, etc. These things are abundant, and you can have as much of them as you want. Two, personal finance and wealth. There's a lot of advice out there about how to save money, cut cost, pinch pennies, and budget your way to wealth, and eventually retire. But quite frankly, one cannot save their way to wealth. You can only save so much of your money, no matter how much you earn or have. That particular path to wealth will always be capped. Let's look at an example and say you earn $50,000 per year. How much of that salary could you realistically save? 10%, 20%, or even 50%? Let's just say that you could save 100% of your $50,000 per year salary. Great, so now you have $50,000. That's all and nothing more. It would be impossible for you to grow any more and accumulate $51,000 in that year. Rather than trying to save your way to wealth, it is possible to grow your way to wealth. There is no ceiling to how much you can grow, earn, create, and make for yourself. And then three, happiness. There is so much in your life to be happy and grateful for. You have so many opportunities, resources, and people around you to do whatever it is you want in this life. It's natural to have a scarcity mentality around some things. I don't think that our evolutionary biology has caught up with just how abundant our world really is today. It's natural to perceive some things as scarce. But remind yourself, the only scarce thing in life is the abundance mindset. You are capable of anything you put your mind to. There isn't a limit or ceiling to your success, your happiness, health, wealth, or anything else. So live your life abundantly. Think, act, grow, learn, and care abundantly. Your abundance mindset will help you reach your potential and ultimately live the life you want. Well, hey, that wraps up this week's episode of Friday Fundamentals. Thanks for tuning in to these short episodes. I really hope you're getting value from these. If you are, please let me know by leaving a rating and review on whichever platform you're listening on. It would mean so much. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or just want to reach out, please do so. I love hearing from you. You can do that at www.jacobairs.com. Hey, till next week, engineer the lifestyle you want. You've been listening to the Real Estate Way to Wealth and Freedom podcast, providing you actionable content to build your real estate empire. Nothing on this show should be considered specific, personal, or professional advice. Please consult an appropriate tax, legal, real estate, financial, or business professional for personal advice. The opinions of guests are their own. Information is not guaranteed. All investment strategies have a potential for profit or loss. The host is operating on behalf of the Real Estate Way to Wealth and Freedom, LLC, exclusively.